Imagine on one day of the year you can get so excited. It is your birthday! You wanted the theme to be Cub Scouts. Soon after you eat dinner, you get the cake. But the problem is, you have no cake! You have no cake! You would probably go to bed sad because you did not have any cake. But no! I am Kyler Nielsen. I am going to show you how to make a perfect Cub Scouts arrow of light cake in just a couple of hours. I will help you get the ingredients, mix and bake the cake, and decorate the cake in just a few hours time. The first step is to gather the ingredients. We are using chocolate cake mix today, so all you will need is three eggs, one and one fourth cup of water, and one half cup of vegetable oil. Heat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 325 degrees Fahrenheit depending if it is a non-stick or glass pan. Make sure you also get one cup of softened butter, one half cup of cocoa powder sifted, five cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three to four tablespoons of milk. Now it's time to bake. First you take the cake mix and you pour it into a large bowl. Then you add in your wet ingredients. You can put them in any order you want. Then you mix with a mixer and set it on to low to medium or whisk vigorously for two minutes. Now you take the batter and you pour it into a pan. We prepared our pan by covering it with non-stick cooking spray and added parchment paper over it. Make sure to get all the batter into the pan and carefully put it in the oven and bake it for 30 minutes. Then you take it out and let it cool for a couple of hours. Okay, it has cooled. Now it's time for the last step, decorating. First, we have to make our chocolate frosting. First, you whip butter and cocoa together in a large bowl. Then, you stir in vanilla and powdered sugar. Next, you slowly stream milk in until it reaches the right consistency. Then, you scrape the sides and whip for another one to two minutes. Now that we're done with the frosting, you get a spatula and plop a big lump onto the middle of the cake. Then, you use the spatula or a different tool to spread the frosting on the cake. Make sure you get the sides too. Now that we're done 
with the frosting, it's time for the arrow of light. What I did is I melted marshmallows and then I kneaded in powdered sugar. Then I added a little bit of yellow and orange food coloring. First, you flatten the fondant out and cut a large line and curve it with your hand so it has a semi-circle sun. Then you cut a longer line and put it beneath the sun for the arrow. Then you cut a small triangle for the for the arrow, and you put it on the right side of the arrow. Then you cut six identical short lines and put them on the left side of the arrow to make its tail. And last, you cut seven almost identical lines and put it above the sun for its rays. I've showed you how to get the ingredients, how to bake the cake, and how to decorate it. Now you don't have to be sad when there is no cake. You can have a perfect cake the next day. I'm done here for now. And as always, stay frosty.